what's good guys and welcome back to another unboxing um this one's gonna be a little bit different there's gonna be a tiny bit of manga in here but i just recently got back into reading novels so i kind of went a little bit crazy and bought a few and i think a bunch of them are in here and i'm yeah let's just get into it Let's start off with this little one. This one's not from Amazon. This one is straight from Japan. Um, this is taped up real nice. Let's see. Don't want to hurt what's inside. Ah, yes. Here we go. The latest volume of Tokyo Avengers, straight from Japan. Volume 24. Man, this cover is sick. Oh, there's something on the back. This is like a card. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna have to look into that. I'm not gonna unwrap this though, because, well, I can read them and they look just as nice, just like this. I am, however, gonna see what this card is about. Uh, when I'm done recording. So yeah, Tokyo Rangers volume 24. And let's see. Yeah, the postal service have not been, been good to my packages. Ah, yes. In this box, we have the first book in what I assume is going to be a trilogy, Kings of the Wild. I, I heard really great things about this, but that's hilarious and it's genre bending. Um, and that apparently it also has a lot of influences from anime that the author is a big fan of anime and it kind of plays out like big shonen battles um but yeah i'm only heard really positive things about this so i ordered this and the sequel and can't wait to be reading it also the cover is so nice the second book's cover is even nicer like this is pretty simple and they look pretty realistic in terms of the armor and the weaponry and so on but the second one just looks really really dope and next up is a box set of um, the box says uh, an epic fantasy an international sensation what if the dark world won the misspawn trilogy so again only heard good things about this and it's by well this book was by uh, nicholas eames and this is by brandon sanderson and everywhere i look on a or, um, on the internet and, and in in fantasy videos and book tubing they all talk about this guy and this trilogy and i mean these editions are really nice and i got them for a very nice price and yeah, if they're as good as everybody says, then I'm going to blow right through these. And these are quite a nice size for, for novels. They're not too big, like not too daunting and then not too small. So, you know, you're going to get, you're going to get a, a bunch um, of story in there. And let's move this over here for the last box. I think if I am not wrong, there should be a little bit of mo uh, manga in here. Right, let's start up with the non manga. So, if you saw an earlier uh, haul of mine, I quickly haul the Lightning Thief. However, I quickly found out that getting the rest of these books would be would take a, a long time because a bunch of them were not in stock or were overpriced on Amazon. And since we don't really have bookstores a lot, uh, a lot of bookstores here and then. Oh no, my book is. 
Amazon, you suck. You didn't put it in a box. Uh, that sucks. Oh well. Um. Anyways, I had to buy the box set. I'm gonna gift the first volume of uh, the Percy Jackson series to my brother, and I am gonna have this box set in my collection instead. And now I can finally start volume two and just go right through them in in order um probably in the span of just a couple weeks and last but not least this finally came back in stock and has been censored it seems um dog ningen volume one and two these were impossible to find they were in the search engine on Amazon, but they were just not available for purchase. And I really, really wanted to see if this was just a joke that everybody was saying that this was a great uh, manga. Um, they have a very weird feel. They have, it's like they're coated with rubber, but I mean, the volumes are really nice. It's, it's, they're heavy, like, uh, there's some quality to these to, to this release but um yeah i only know very little about this book so or about this manga um so yeah i'm gonna give this a try and see if it's actually as good as everybody else is saying it is but i'm i don't know i'm kind of kind of doubtful but uh i am open to be blown back anyways that was all for this short unboxing. Hope you guys had a, had a good time and that you'll be sticking around for more to come. Have a good one.